Zizel. In this USG how-to video, we'll discuss SSL inspection, a powerful tool to allow security enforcement on traffic encrypted by local hosts. SSL inspection is supported on USG models 110 and higher. With the previous USG series appliances, content filtering, application patrol, and other services worked only on non-encrypted traffic. In other words, SSL pages using HTTPS like Facebook, Dropbox, and so forth would not be able to be scanned by the USG, making a security loophole that could be exploited by malicious activity or programs. With the latest USG series appliances, however, we now support SSL inspection, which allows the USG to act as an SSL proxy. In order to use this feature, you'll first need to add the USG certificate to the client computers and then enable SSL inspection on the USG. Begin by logging into the USG. Connect to the USG's LAN port and point your web browser to its management IP address. The default IP address for the USG is 192.168.1.1. If using the default self-signed certificate on your USG, your browser may present you with a security warning, but it's perfectly okay to proceed. Default username is admin, and the default password is 1234. If you're still using the default password, you'll be prompted to change it, and will have to log back in using the new password. Once you've logged in, you should see the dashboard and the menu bar on the left margin. From the menu bar, go to the Configuration, Object, Certificate menu. In the My Certificates tab, You'll see the certificate used by USG to identify itself to users, trusted CAs, and VPN peer gateways. Typically, this will be the default self-signed certificate, but if you've installed another certificate from a certificate authority or created a new self-signed certificate, you'll see those certificates as well. Whichever certificate you prefer to use, double-click on it or select it and then click the Edit button to open the certificate's properties. At the bottom of the pop-up menu, click the export certificate only or export certificate with private key button. For the latter, you'll need to enter a password first, which will require that the same password be used when importing the certificate to another host. The certificate will then be saved on your local disk drive. Next, you'll need to add the downloaded certificate onto the host computers as a trusted host. On the Windows operating system, you can do this by using the start menu to launch C-E-R-T-M-G-R dot M-S-C. Once the snap-in is launched, select the Trusted Root Certificate Authority Certificates menu. Then click Action, All Tasks, Import from the top menu bar. In the Certificate Import Wizard, browse for the certificate you downloaded from the USG and enter any password if applicable. You may need to toggle the Browse window to look for all files to see the downloaded certificate. Finish the wizard and the certificate should now be installed. Obviously, domain administrators will want to use domain admin tools to install certificates on all host machines simultaneously, but this method can be used to test SSL inspection before a mass rollout. Back on the USG, go to the Configuration, UTM Profile, SSL Inspection menu, and click the Add button to create a new profile. Although the name field is mandatory and doesn't allow the use of special characters or spaces, the description field is optional but can be used for easier reference. In the CA Certificate drop-down menu, select the certificate from the USG that you applied to your host devices in the previous step. SSL Inspection supports SSL version 3 and TLS 1.0 and supports the RC4, DES, Triple DES, and AES cipher suites. You can direct the USG to either block or pass traffic for unsupported SSL version 2 and or unsupported cipher suites in the respective drop-down menus. Click OK to save your new profile. Finally, you just need to add the new SSL inspection profile to a security policy in the Configuration, Security Policy, Policy Control menu in the UTM Profile section at the bottom of the desired policy. Of course, to get any benefits from it, you'll need to use SSL inspection with another USG service, such as Content Filtering, App Patrol, IDP, and or Antivirus. SSL inspection, like most UTM policies, should be applied on policies from a local interface, like LAN, LAN2, WLAN, or the DMZ, to the WAN, 
to prevent outbound connections from occurring without proper inspection. Once in place, UTM features such as content filtering should work, even on HTTPS and other secured connections, as USGD crypts, inspects, and either re-encrypts or drops traffic before it goes out to the internet. For more USG how-to videos, see our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash ZizelUSA.